Having recently completed a sold-out run in Johannesburg, the smash hit Broadway production Jersey Boys moves and grooves its way into Cape Town theatres this week. This is no tribute band or impersonator show, but rather a full-scale Broadway production about the rags to rock to riches story of the Four Seasons. The show depicts the true life story of how a group of blue-collar boys from the wrong side of the tracks became one of the biggest American pop music sensations of all times. They wrote their own songs, invented their own sounds, and sold 175 million records worldwide, all before they were 30. features such four-season hits as Big Girls Don't Cry, Sherry, Walk Like a Man, Oh What a Night, and Can't Take My Eyes Off You. Book your tickets now to see Jersey Boys at the Artscape Theatre until Sunday the 21st of July. Man, a musical set to thrill audiences by the millions, as it already has, and we're delighted to host Emmanuel, Kenneth, Daniel, and Grant in our penthouse studio. Gents, good morning. Welcome. Hello. 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 This is not a wardrobe malfunction, right? This is... <laughs> this well, we is hope not. <laughs> Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons. It's great to have you guys here. Um, I've heard so much about the show, um, seen the adverts, seen all of the YouTube clips, but never really realized how big this show was until I, was, I really got into looking at it. I mean, we're talking 17.5 million people. Grant, that have watched this show yeah. all across the world. What is it like for you guys to step into the shoes of these legends? It's unbelievable. I mean, it's, uh, it's been a dream come true for all of us, and it's been sort of a... I don't know, for me, it's been the pinnacle of my career yeah. um, at the moment. And no we, doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you doubt? Think, <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. No yeah. doubt. OK, all right. And, um, I think for us as well, we had no idea what we were getting into or how big it was bef until we were actually in it and kind of swept up by it. It's just been... Uh, you know, th the best thing in our careers. So yeah, very, very surreal at times. Really feel like a rock star, like really. Would you, would you <laughs> say that's that's the feeling, Emmanuel? Absolutely, absolutely. You've got, um, we've had audiences across the world because yeah. we've been in Singapore and now uh, Joburg and now Cape Town that are just up on their feet and. That is absolutely going insane, crazy. man. Yeah. I mean, you guys did months and months of preparation, hard work, rehearsals. I saw some of the clips. It's crazy. The choreography that you guys have to uh, master before getting onto stage is absolutely amazing. And then you take it over to Singapore, and that's the first stage you perform on. How, how was that experience? Oh, it was unbelievable. I mean, the, the, Singapore is a very reserved sort of nation, so, you know, they, they weren't sort of as forthcoming with their response as what South Africa has been, which yeah. has been kind of what we've been wanting. We've been wanting this response, you know, what mm. we've been getting here. Um, but it was great. It was awesome to sort of be there, experience the culture, and we had a couple of we had a, we had a New Year's uh, function, which was quite cool. Um, oh yes, yeah, which the was biggest awesome. party in Singapore. I know I it was great. It was on this float in, in 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 the bay, in the Marina Bay, and it was it was just unbelievable with fireworks, like a ten minute fireworks display. It was crazy, and then we were, we were sort of performing with other sort of um, celebrities from celebrities, uh, you know, yeah. other Asian yeah. territories. It was and, great. Uh, and it was broadcast to about, well, we performed there for about 20,000 people. Yeah, and it was yeah, broadcast yeah. live uh, all over Asia. So it was quite a... Was, was that not like terribly nerve-wracking though? Because thinking that, you know, we've, we've been working on this, we would at least like to start at home where we know that people would be, you know, easier. Because opening night is always like a shock. <laughs> is, is, it ugh. is, but I think in a lot of ways we were, it was, it was more in our, for our benefit that we performed overseas and wherever. Because, you know, your, your sort of closest critics are your friends and yes. family kind of thing. And you want to impress them more than the general public as well. So it was, it was great to sort of get to Singapore, rehearse it in, break it in, and kind of like be comfortable, and then get back here, and we were like, cool, this is great. I think also, the, I mean, we were rehearsed so in intensely. It was, like you say, a couple of months of rehearsals um, with two extra weeks in New York for, for myself and the two Frankies. Yes. Um, <coughs> uh, so by the time it's... <laughs> Sorry, actually. But, um, Sorry. Oh, we left <laughs> By the time we had started, we were ready to start. Yeah. You know, so it was nerve-wracking, but we we felt, you know, yeah, like we had it in the bag. Yeah. Let's talk a bit about that preparation because lots of people just go and see the show and they're like, oh wow, it's amazing. They never really get to thinking about what it took to get there. You guys are playing instruments, you're dancing, you're singing live as well. Emmanuel, how, how's that challenge? I mean, you're a performer, you know this kind of thing. All of you are, but I mean, I've, I've seen you perform too um, at corporate events and that kind of stuff. How different is this, the preparation and the, the mental that you, that you need to be there? Yeah, it, it's very meticulous. It's yeah. very specific, especially, like you say, the choreography, every single little movement is so specific and, and so in time with each other that 
I mean, we took, uh, we did a seven week rehearsal. Wow. And they gave us one week alone, just the four guys. So we could really get that group feeling going mm -hmm. and that camaraderie and that feeling like we're a band. Were you guys living together during that time? Or how, how, did you, how did you go about getting this These group These guys feeling? are terrible to live with. No, no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> but how, how did you go about it? Because I, I, was, I was in a band and for three years we lived together as a family, as brothers, and that's how we were able to get that group cohesion. H how did you guys go about it? Well, I don't know. It was just during rehearsals and stuff like that. We, you know, with that first week we bonded and they spent a lot of time with just the four of us putting us together um, and sort of building up those relationships. I mean, in essence, we're playing guys that have, that have spent their lives together. Exactly. You know, they, they've, they toured from, from young, they spent all their time together. So to try and create those relationships and make them look believable yeah. uh, from an audience point of view, that was the, the sort of the goal of what they were trying to do. So, yeah. Well, you're getting well, it right. The hair's there. It's like, well, <laughs> you know, also having spent the time in Singapore first, yeah. Yeah. then we really did live together. Yeah, you know? that's true. We were in each other's pockets all the time. Tell me about the, the Frankie camp. I found that most uh, amazing to, to know that you guys not only had to learn the repertoire, but you had to learn how to talk like the, the people from New Jersey. You need to have the accent and sing like them, you know, like mm. they talk mm. in Jersey. There we go. Yeah. 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 I got it down. <laughs> Tell me about that. Um, yeah, it was unbelievable. I mean, like Dan said, we were in New York for two weeks um, where we started rehearsals uh, and uh, I had vocal training with a, with a singing coach there, which yeah. I still have now, um, once a week via Skype. Um, and I got all these vocal exercises that I do just to kind of keep my voice um, in check. You know, it's kind of like, you know, we're all running a marathon at the moment. We're all kind of sportsmen in a way yeah. as performers. And vocally, it's the kind of thing you need to sort of keep your instrument in check and up to, up to uh, you know, sort of, yeah. So it's, um, it was unbelievable. So I had, had lessons with her. We, we had lessons with Stephen Gabers, who's our vocal uh, accent coach. coach mm -hmm. yeah. um, so let's see you give us a bit of a Jersey talk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah from Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah from Jersey. Yeah, 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 from from Jersey. Mm -hmm. you know? He's great. got the hand jazz. Jersey's great. We got some of the finest prisons in America. <laughs> and I speak from considerable personal experience. Kenneth, let's hear yours out. I want to hear yours out. Hi, Bob Gordio. Last piece of the puzzle. All right, all right. <laughs> last piece of the puzzle. Yeah, he's yeah. the last piece of the puzzle. Yeah. I'm the last piece of the puzzle because I'm the bassist. I always get left behind, but it's I okay. I've the hits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Gents, I, I'm, I'm so, so into it, and I'm, and I'm definitely going to come and watch a show. It is, of course, running at the Artscape uh, until the 21st of July. It's called Jersey Boys. Make sure that you don't miss... This is like a piece of history happening right now in South Africa. We'll have the details for you on our expressoshow.com website, and we will be back after these.